Question 23.10. Questioner, what can you tell me about the overall success of the pyramid? I understand that the pyramids were not successful in producing a rising consciousness that was hoped for, but there must have been some success that came from them. Answer, I am Ra. We ask you to remember that we are of the brothers and sisters of sorrow. When one has been rescued from that sorrow to a vision of the one creator, then there is no concept of failure. Our difficulty lay in the honor responsibility of correcting the distortions of the law of one which occurred during our attempts to aid these entities. The distortions are seen as responsibilities rather than failures, the few who were inspired to seek our only reason for the attempt. Thus, we would perhaps be in the position of paradox in that as one saw an illumination, we were what you call successful, and as others became more sorrowful and confused, we were failures. These are your terms. We persist in seeking to serve. Question 23.11 Questioner, you probably can't answer this question but I will ask it now since we are in the area that I think that this occurred in. I feel this is somewhat of a duty to ask this question because Henry Paharich will be visiting me later this month. Was this entity involved in any of these times of which you have just spoken? Answer, I am Ra. You are quite correct in your assumption that we can speak in no way concerning the entity Henry. If you will consider this entity's distortions with regard to what you call proof, you will understand grasp our predicament. Question 23.12 Questioner, I had assumed before I asked the question that that would be the answer. I only asked it for his benefit because he wished for me to. Can you tell me what happened to Ike Nathan after his physical death? Answer, I am Ra. This entity was then put through the series of healing and review of incarnational experiences which is appropriate for third density experience. This entity had been somewhat in the distortions of power ameliorated by the great devotion to the law of one. This entity thus resolved to enter a series of incarnations in which it had no distortions towards power. Question 23.13 Questioner, can you tell me what the average lifespan was for the Egyptians at the time of Ikhnaton? Answer, I am Ra. The average lifespan of these people was approximately 35 to 50 of your years. There was much, what you would call, disease of a physical complex nature. Question 23.14 Questioner, can you tell me of the reasons for the disease? I think I already know, but I think it might be good for the book to state this at this time. Answer, I am Ra. This is, as we have mentioned before, not particularly informative with regard to the law of one. However, the land you know of as Egypt at that time was highly barbarous in its living conditions, as you would call them. The river which you call Nil was allowed to flood and to recede, thus providing the fertile grounds for the breeding of diseases which may be carried by insects. Also, the preparation of foodstuffs allowed diseases to form. Also, there was difficulty in many cases with sources of water and water which was taken caused disease due to the organisms therein. Question 23.15. Questioner, I was really questioning about the more basic cause of disease rather than the mechanism of its transmission. I was going back to the root of thought that created the possibility of disease. Could you briefly tell me if I am correct in assuming the general reduction of thought over the long time on planet Earth with respect to the law of one created a condition whereby what we call disease could develop? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct and perceptive. You, as questioner, begin now to penetrate the outer teachings. The root cause in this particular society was not so much a bellicose action although there were, shall we say, tendencies, but rather the formation of a money system and a very active trading and development to those tendencies towards greed and power, thus the enslaving of entities by other entities and the misapprehension of the creator within each entity. Question 23.16. Questioner, I understand, if I am correct, that the South American contact was also made. Can you tell me of the nature of your contact with respect to the attitude about the contact, its ramifications, the plan for the contact, and why the people were contacted in South America? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the final full question of this session.
The entities who walked among those in your South American continent were called by a similar desire upon the part of the entities therein to learn of the manifestations of the sun. They worshipped this source of light and life. Thus, these entities were visited by light beings not unlike ourselves. Instructions were given and they were more accepted and less distorted than ours. The entities themselves began to construct a series of underground and hidden cities including pyramid structures. These pyramids were somewhat at variance from the design that we had promulgated. However, the original ideas were the same with the addition of a desire or intention of creating places of meditation and rest, a feeling of the presence of the one creator, these pyramids then being for all people, not only initiates and those to be healed. They left this density when it was discovered that their plans were solidly in motion and, in fact, had been recorded. During the next approximately 3,500 years these plans became, though somewhat distorted, in a state of near completion in many aspects. Therefore, as is the case of the breakings of the quarantine, the entity who was helping the South American entities along the South American ways you call in part the Amazon River went before the Council of Saturn to request a second attempt to correct in person the distortions which had occurred in their plans. This having been granted, this entity or social memory complex returned and the entity chosen as messenger came among the peoples once more to correct the errors. Again, all was recorded and the entity rejoined its social memory complex and left your skies. As in our experience the teachings were, for the most part, greatly and grossly perverted to the extent in later times of actual human sacrifice rather than healing of humans. Thus, this social memory complex is also given the honor duty of remaining until those distortions are worked out of the distortion complexes of your peoples. May we ask if there are any questions of a brief nature before we close? Question 23.17 Questioner, is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Since you stated that she seems to be low on energy, is it possible to have another session later on today? Answer, I am Ra. All is well with alignments. However, this instrument would benefit from rest from the trance state for this diurnal period. Question 23.18 Questioner, thank you. Ra, is there any other brief question? Question 23.19 Questioner, this may be a dumb question. There is a movie called, Battle Beyond the Stars. I don't know if you are familiar with it or not. I guess you are. It just seemed to have what you are telling us included in the script. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This particular creation of your entities had some distortions of the law of one and its scenario upon your physical plane. This is correct. I am Ra. I leave this instrument now. I leave each of you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.